recently, yes, NBA Young Boy yes. um, had an interview with uh, Bootleg Kev. Bootleg Kev. Yeah. Bootleg Kev. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Um, dropped on interview. It was about 45 <clears throat> or so minutes. About 45 minutes. It got cut down and reduced because yeah. um, that's what you're going to get out of an NBA Young Boy interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're not, and that's no disrespect to NBA. <laughs> Literally, he, he's the one that's got, like, you know how you go to, if you get a Drake interview? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be reviewed. Oh, for sure. It's gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah. NBA is the same one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, bootleg Kev went to um his house up in up in the mountains, Utah. Uh, Utah. They called it uh Grave Digger Mountain. Grave Digger Mountain. Um, stay away from there. In the video, you could tell there was a bunch of snow. There was a guy walking around with a shovel. Um, they were talking about how like they were kind of out there, you know, being in nature and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, NBA kind of. Sat, he sat down with Kev and they were speaking about kind of um plethora of things, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh how he felt about the industry, what it's like to be who he is. And they started off with It was a good conversation. It started off really well. It right? started off really, really well. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Um, so let me set the scene. Sure. And of, I'll and I'll play the, the clip because I got the clip on me. So they're there talking. Um, they're on the couch. Beautiful couch. Um <laughs> NBA young boys, not nah, because you got his film that, couch. That's important. What color was it? Like beige, uh, right? Yeah, it was like beige. beige okay, okay, that's okay. important. Beige couch, like, like guys. Off white. Kinda. There you go. We gotta see how the nigga looks. A, cre a, a cream. cream. A, a creme. Okay. Damn it. That's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. God fucking damn it. Yes. That was exactly the shade. And, Yo, uh, <laughs> bootleg is Kev is. If you're watching it, bootleg Kev is on the left. Uh, yeah. NBA young boys on the right. Yeah. And to my surprise. NBA young boy's son was there also. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, what one of his uh, one of his sons, one of his eleven children. Yeah, one of his eleven children. And I'm not exaggerating that. Yeah, two of which, by the way, might I add, um, are not his biologically. Got you. So got you. So that also plays two, into two of his kids is, is not his biological. Two of the eleven. I didn't okay. know that. And that also plays into what he said. Got you. So, and I'm gonna play what Pierre has been referencing here. Kev asked him a question. And you know, big shout out to uh bootleg Kev on this, by the way, man. Yeah. You do have a lot of children. And and uh you know I've been around you to see in a short amount of time that you're a great father. How important is fatherhood to you, man? Um I'm not really big on it, to be honest. What do you mean by that? You're not big on it. <laughs> Kev couldn't believe it. I mean, you're a family man. I'm here with you. I see it. Yeah, but I'm only out. I'm only like in here because you live. Oh, well, I don't <laughs> believe it. It's a crazy topic because I'm not the type like the sugar coat man. But I'm four walls all day. Every day. Every day. When you say four walls, you mean locked in? Yeah. Now he kept it real. He right. did keep it real. He ain't, he... And as Pierre mentioned, guys, his son was literally sitting in his lap. Yeah. His his son is literally cooing yeah, yeah. and playing with the both of them as they're recording. And he looked like he was being a great father. <sighs> now, many of us do know that NBA Young Boys had a troubled past. Yeah. Uh even most recently, they forced him to be on house arrest. Mm -hmm. He's I think he's been on house arrest. I I won't put a number on it, but I know it's been for multiple years now. Yeah. So, you know, when they told him, like, hey, man, we're going to put you on house arrest. We're not going to keep you locked up over here. Pick a location. NBA young boy decided to pick Utah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, throughout, I've also seen different interviews with NBA young boy and people visiting at him mm -hmm. at his residence. Yeah. For instance, Million Dollars Worth of Game, Gillian Wallow. Yep. They also uh, sat down with him recently mm -hmm. on his premises. And it's interesting to see what people go through when they went through a lot. Yeah. So let me break that down. Yeah. That's a, I, that's a great way to say that. Yeah. It's, it's because now I think NBA young boy is proactively trying to figure out mm -hmm. what makes him move, yeah. what he loves, what he doesn't like. And I wanted to also mention that NBA young boy is only 24 years old. Wow. Imagine being 24 years old. With eleven kids, it's tough. Now I'm not here to set shoot nobody no bail. My pops wasn't in my life. I ain't trying to big the nigga up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't trying to say that. I hate this. Okay. But I'm not trying to big. Yeah. Up. I ain't trying to big no deadbeat up. 
Oh my goodness! But see, I but, can't even put NBA in that conversation because but, okay. I don't think he's a, he's there with his children. Yeah, they hang with him. His, ch- chi- his child. His, his, from his what one, we saw. From what we saw in that shot. No, and they right. they be in his like music videos and stuff. Okay, all the time because again he can't leave home, right? So he like, yeah. yo, move, nah, all right, get him in the shot then, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> like just pull up, fuck <laughs> it, we gonna I shoot the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. we here anyway. Why we why? here, yeah, yeah. So. I wanted to ask you guys: Were you how surprised were you when you heard <clears throat> his reply to Bootleg uh, Kev's question about father? Yeah, um, yeah right. I just think he didn't know how to answer that question. Like, I think that's why he said that. Like in the moment, he probably <laughs> didn't realize that he said, "I'm not really big on it." I guess he was trying to like tone it down mm. um, because he's used to like doing that. I guess when it comes to family, yeah. but. I don't know. I don't know how he is as a dad. I honestly don't know how I feel. But I think just that response. I don't know if he really meant it. He just like said it. Mm. So for me, <clears throat> I knew, <laughs> I knew he's about to say something groundbreaking. Cause <laughs> groundbreaking. He took a breath. He took a moment. <clears throat> so now, usually when people ask you, "Hey, what's it like to be a father?" Right? You usually hear it's usually like a knee jerk, like "Yo, it's great. I love my kids. Uh, they did this." Yeah, everybody got to say that. Like, yeah. But he took a breath. Or I don't know if he took a breath. He took a moment. <sighs> And then said, proceeded to say what he said. I was like, I was definitely taken aback. I was like, wait, what? <coughs> huh? Like, you know how you've mentioned about conundrums before? Yeah. yeah, my, yeah. my eyes were telling me he a good father. Because <laughs> yeah, you I see, see a kid. kid you see my see mind is like in disarray. I'm see. talking about, I'm, I'm thinking like, wait, not, is this, nothing's making sense right now. Yeah. Um, I was kind of like, that actually intrigued me more mm-hmm. to finish watching the rest of the, rest of of the, the interview. interview. Yeah. I think what adds to NBA Young Boy's healing is his solitude. Mm, I could see that. I could be wrong, but just from what I'm assessing, yeah. right? When Bootleg Kev said, like, yeah, what do you mean? I, you're not a good father. Like, mm-hmm. the kid's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's playing with my hat. Like, we're trying to steal it. <laughs> yeah, like, like, we're all bonding right now. Yeah. yeah. He literally said, now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm four corners all day long. Yeah. Just trying to chill out, do the things I like to do. Mm-hmm. And I think eventually he, I don't think he knows what it means to have um, Mm. a stable father Mm. or quote unquote what he would deem something to be as good fatherhood. Yeah, like his definition of what what a father is. Of what a father is, right? Granted, I don't know how he came up. So again, Mm. like I said, need to know podcast. You know more than me on his family member. I'm familiar with his mother. I know his mother's in his life. I'm not too familiar with his father or or that story. Yeah, but right, but it does sound like because when you think about it, right? You want house arrest and you can't leave. Yeah. Only thing you could do is see your kids. (laughs) No, and Bullock have said. I don't know if he was just saying this to get to like kind of pose the question nicely but he said like oh you seem like a family man I, mm-hmm. i'm looking at you you're playing with all your kids he yeah. said like oh you seem like a great dad yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. he uh <laughs> nba young boy keeps ho- horses yeah. on his premises on the, on the oh property. wow he yeah. has animals mm-hmm. he has uh atv he has four wheelers he has all these little trinkets and things that <laughs> kids would keep him occupied would keep that you, you that's how you keep the kids occupied yeah. there's so much to do yeah. here where you don't have to be in your iPad, mm-hmm. right? Where you ha- where you don't have to be in your phone. Yeah. So I do want to cut him a little bit of slack here, and just in terms of maybe he doesn't realize, yeah. you know, what that looks like. Yeah. Or maybe he is four corners every single day, <laughs> and it is possible to not be there for your kids while you there for your kids. Yeah. Right. Because he did yep. say he he's in the studio a lot. A day and, four and corners in the, in the in the room. He said he sleeps um, in that room every. Mostly every day. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and the other thing I was thinking too, when the interview started and he kind of like, you know, was continuing to talk, I was kind of like just thinking, yeah, damn, if you like, it takes, it's, it's interesting to see what it takes to, it, he looked broken. For sure. He looked like the industry broke him. If you're familiar with what broken people look like. That's what it would look that's like. That's what it would look like. For sure. And <clears throat> broken and at a place right now where. All right, I've been told and I've been given a bunch of chances about how crazy I've been living life, etc. Yeah. And now I'm trying to find what just makes me happy. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think the moment he finds that yeah. or he gets back to happiness is yeah. the moment where he'll feel more present. Because he did say, um, he said he he sometimes just wants a regular job, like a like a having a construction company. Well, niggas be. And then and then bootleg Kev asked him like, "What do you see after rap?" <laughs> And this is kind of the thing that tripped me up. He was like, I'm kind of set on going to jail right now. Damn. Wait, what? Yeah. He said that? Yeah. Verbatim. 
I feel like he just then, is mm-hmm. so unhappy. Like he just rather be in jail. Yeah. And you feel like you know some of those people that just punish themselves, mm-hmm. right? Or just self deprecate constantly because yeah. in their head they're not where they want to be yet. Mm-hmm. He strikes me. As something like that. Yeah, not like everybody that. has yeah. a strength to like not self deprecate. Yeah, yeah. 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 He no, he, he also said, "I really like, hate this ish," and then verbatim, and he said, "It takes a toll on him and his wife." And he also revealed that he cries a lot. I could Aww. see that. I could definitely see that. Now I don't think that's him being soft or anything like nah, that. Nah. But I'm definitely that he does. But this is really his, where he's at in his life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like he it said strikes. He's got, he's got no one to talk to. Hmm. Damn. Now you got a, some kids. You, got you like talk him. to the niggas. <laughs> Kids can't. If I got 11 kids, I'm talking all of them. Nah, we're going to talk all day long. I'm on house arrest, nigga. Talk. <laughs> Let me hear ABC. 